And the persistence pays off. It's Peter Hart who turns over possession. David Moran gets the run on Philip Jordan. And a bit of a height differential there. Will Moran look to exploit that over the next 35 minutes or so? Colm Cooper and a slip from Joe McMahon gives Donaghy some space. And clearly the jersey of Colm Cooper being held there and an early opportunity for him to double Kerry's advantage. Yeah, Colm McCarn is going to have to be very careful there. I was about to pull the jersey. And, uh, yeah, Donny, he lost his man there, lost Joe McMahon, and uh, it was definitely an opportunity, and it's going to be a handy one. Yeah, that's two now, and he's off. So this is really going to put the cat among the pigeons. This is not what Tyrone wanted. They wanted to get a big impact on this game. They hadn't been performing the last 10 minutes of the game, and uh, now they're down to 14 men. Well, we did say earlier in the first half that the amount of yellow cards been racked up on both sides would ultimately lead to somebody finishing the game a man or two down. Well, it's Tyrone who draw first blood on that particular stat. Colin McCarran walks and probably a very ill-judged challenge there on Colin Cooper, pulling the jersey right in front of the referee. It's a second yellow card for him. It's a second point for Colin Cooper and Kerry lead by two. Yeah, Colin McCarran, he shouldn't be shaking his head. Two sides that know each other so well. Declan O'Sullivan, he's working so hard in this second half and he's got away from the challenge, the space opening up for Declan O'Sullivan. Will he opt to go for goal himself? He looks in field towards Colm Cooper. Declan O'Sullivan walks the ball into the back of the net. Harlem Globetrotter stuff from the Kerry men, Killian. That was fantastic. And look, no more than he deserves. Declan O'Sullivan has been one of the hardest workers here on the pitch tonight. And uh, he dispossessed him, and took it upon himself. And there was, there was only goal really on his mind there. I mean, he knew that they had the overlap of players. A nice little pass. Kept his composure. Gooch knew what was happening there. And an easy, easy tap in for Declan. Made it, uh, an early uh, exit at about, after about 20 minutes. But in general, he's really gelled well with the forward line. And uh, I definitely think that he's one that could potentially at least make the championship panel this season. Well, one man certainly looking to make an impact on the championship panel is David Moore, and that's a wonderfully struck free kick from him. The backs were better off and just holding up, and I think that was a really easy free to give away. There was about four of them chasing him. He was paddling solo at that stage, but uh, should be an easy tap over for Tyrone, and you know they're just about keeping in touch. Was there a huge difference between the shoulder and the bank there from Aidan O'Mahony and the... Uh they pull on the jersey of Colm Cooper that we saw second yellow for Colm McCarran. No, I think it's in the book. If you pull the jersey, you get a yellow card there. I think there wasn't much to, to, to that one. Martin Penrose converts a first of the night for him. And with still just 20 minutes left to play back tonight. Donaghy, among a number of players looking to get to this, he does make it. Back to Darren O'Sullivan. Looks for the right to left kick off his left boot. And that's a wonderful score from Darren O'Sullivan. A second for him and a real. No so Martin Penrose, Tyrone really struggling to eat into this Kerry lead. They haven't got it below four since the goal from Declan O'Sullivan. And Martin Penrose brings it back to that gap of four points. And just as some of Tyrone's big names look on. And off camera, Martin Penrose puts the ball over the bar, his third of the night, closes the gap ever further. And could we have a sting in the tail of this game? It was the goals that Tyrone scored against Cork that won the game for them to pick up their first win of the season. One gets the impression they'll need a green flag to be raised if they're to get themselves back into this game. Plenty of time for them to do it. Hey, it's Aidan O'Connell for the first time. Sorry, Killian. Yeah. Uh, a, a nice contribution to make for your first touch. Just the second mark of the game, and that was a big challenge from Aidan O'Mahony. He's involved again, and really, should Aidan start walking towards the touchline before he even sees the second yellow? And was that a straight red, Killian? We'll get that well, clarified, regardless of whether it was a second yellow or a straight. The odds have been evened up because we're back to 14 men apiece. Well, now, this is what Tyrone just wanted. They've, they've got within shooting distance. There's only one score between them at this point, and now they're evened up, 14 versus 14. And we still have plenty of time left on the clock. Let's see it here. Oh, yeah, that was just ridiculous by Aidan O'Mahony. He knew he was living on the edge as it was. We've yet to see now whether it was a straight red, and this will be uh, this will be a bit worrying. I think it was a straight it was red. A straight actually. Kavanagh seems to be back in this game after that blow from Tommy Griffin. It's back to Conor Gormley. 
A lot of space over on the left-hand side for Martin Penrose. Looks to shape it from right to left. And that's a wonderful score for Martin Penrose, a fourth of the night, his first from play, and suddenly there's just two between them. Yeah, it's no more than they deserve, really. Tyrone have worked really, really hard, you know, with the 14 men, and I think it's no more than they deserve now to get within striking distance of them. There's a bit of time left on the clock there. Um, well, as Martin Penrose looked towards the post, he had one idea in mind, and he shaped that kick beautifully. This is the Edna Matty incident again, Killian, and I suppose he might be a little embarrassed when he looks back on it, perhaps over during the week. Yeah, Aidan has... Will not want to see that one again. As well as it stands, Trump still needing a goal. It's broken well by Seamus Scanlon. He wins the free. 90 seconds left to play of it at a time. David Moore looks downfield towards Cooper. Colin Cooper steps in onto his favourite left foot. He looks for support. And no intention of turning towards goal. Kerry looking to play down the clock. Kieran O'Donoghue gets past the challenge of Jordan. And this time he does look for goal. But perhaps considering the wide almost as good as the score at this stage. Yeah, I mean, there's only, I think, one, one minute left in it now, and I, I, I don't know at this stage of... I think there's something happening off the field again now. Yeah, I think we've got Colin Cavanaugh, he's getting a, a talking to and a yellow card. Kieran Donnie has done quite well there in support of Seamus Gallon at midfield. He's come out in the second half there, and lovely block down from him there again. Jordan goes down with the ball, wins the free. And Donnie, he's shouldered off it there by Conor Gormley. And Tyrone really just eating into their own injury time. They're the team that need this score. A lot of the Tron forwards and half forwards gravitating towards the square. One last onslaught from the Red Hand County. Davy Hart, will he drop it in towards the square? Down towards Colm Kavanagh and Owen Mulligan. And it's broken brilliantly there by David Moran. Fisting the ball anywhere into the last couple of seconds here it's Davy Hart again and Kerry just about getting that ball clear oh, that was the opportunity for Tyrone to steal two valuable points the ball back in again from Brian McGuigan it's all over the place and Tyrone have got a goal incredible scenes in Healy Park Tyrone, Colm Kavanagh a vital goal against Cork two weeks ago. He's popped up again, the Moy club man, and Healy Park, the roof, has just been blown from this ground. Oh, Colin Kavanagh, he's been fairly quiet all day, but God, what a time to come up. We'll have another look at this here. Oh, where was the marking? Everyone was going for that ball. And the final whistle has been blown. That was the last moment of an enthralling encounter here at Healy Park. Delight on the faces of the players and the fans alike because that 74th minute intervention from Callum Kavanagh has perhaps breathed new life into Tyrone's scrap to avoid relegation from Division 1 of the Allianz National Football League. A brilliant game here with a brilliant ending and Mickey Hart absolutely delighted with the last few moments of this encounter. It's Kerry having the points ripped from their paws in the closing seconds. Delight for Tyrone. They take on Dublin here in two weeks' time, knowing that victory will put their destiny in their own hands.